welcome back all to my channel and today I'll be looking at my anticipated reads for the end of the year. So without further ado and in no particular order I have five books that are coming up before the end of the year that I'm pretty darn excited for. I have a list that I will be referring to down here because I am spectacularly bad at names and remembering names and also upfront apologies pronouncing names so um, that should be interesting. The first one I think everyone's pretty excited for, which is Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third in the Skyward series, um, and that comes out on November 23rd. I'm going by the release date that I've seen on the internet. Apologies if they're off by a couple of days, as I know that sometimes that they do move, but should be around November 23rd. The first in this series was obviously Skyward, and then that was followed up by Star Sight. This is young adult sci-fi. You're following um, a young lady called Spencer, I believe, and essentially she dreams of being a pilot because her father was a pilot. Um, unfortunately, there's a bit of controversy around her father um, with rumours about the fact that he was a coward or a betrayer. And then in the first book, particularly, you see her overcome that and understand why that occurred. The great thing about this series is that the scopes keep just changing and getting bigger and bigger. The first book was a very small scope around this kind of school and particular world, and the second book opens up and I'm pretty damn sure in the third book that's going to open up even further which is very exciting so everyone not everybody but a lot of people know and love Brandon Sanderson so I think a lot of people are um, looking up for this one and are quite excited right the second book um, I was actually very interested in hearing about and I and really am going to pick this up immediately it's called Synopticon and this is a celebration of Chinese sci-fi. It's out on around November 11th. So essentially this is 13 stories that have been translated into English for the first time. Um, and I think it's going to be really uh, fascinating um, because, oh, I don't know how to say this, because basically it'll be an interesting insight into kind of a cultural side of sci-fi that I haven't read a lot into before. So yeah, it's going to be really fun to explore these stories uh, and then uh, see where they lead and, and what kind of things are into them. So after some camera issues, the third book in the anticipated reads would be Leviathan Falls. Now this is book nine and the final book on the of the Expanse series. It's probably the one I'm most excited for in this list. Um, this is somewhat bittersweet because I absolutely adore this series and can remember picking up the first one many moons ago, absolutely adoring it and I've enjoyed the series ever since so it's really sad that it's coming to a close. However, it's also really exciting to know how it ends and how it is brought to a close. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. I thought it was going to be mid-November but Amazon is telling me it's around the 30th so we'll have to see. Um, It'll be annoying if I had to wait a little bit longer, but you know, I will wait. <laughs> Obviously this has also um, been turned into a, um, a sci-fi series, which was fantastic. And yeah, just such a great series. Um, can't wait to see how it ends. Uh, very excited for it. Okay, book four in the anticipated reads would be Far From the Light of the Heavens by Tade Thompson. This is a standalone novel and it's coming out very soon in the end of October, about the 26th, I believe. Um, the blurb just was fantastic. Essentially, it is described as a standalone science fiction novel that promises to be filled with deep moral quandaries and spiritual reckonings. It's billed as a mystery meets sci-fi political thriller in space, where the acting captain of Ragtime has to team up with an investigator and several other intriguing characters to unravel a bloody mystery that is taking, taking place aboard her ship. That is a fantastic blurb and really gets me excited so yeah I'm also very much looking forward to that. I believe that comes out on the 26th of October. The final one is, okay this is the one where I may need some help in pronunciation, is Noor by, by Nnedi Okorafor. Um, apologies I said that wrong, I'll put a screenshot on, uh, on, I'll put a screenshot up so that you can see um, the book cover and how it is actually spelt. Um, this apparently is African Futurism. Um, it just sounded like a really interesting, thought-provoking story. And again, I just read the blurb and felt like I really wanted to pick it up. Did I say? 9th of November this one's coming out, so pretty soon as well. So again, this book is described as a new science fiction novel of intense action and thoughtful rumination on biotechnology, destiny and humanity in a new near future Nigeria. Um, it just sounds absolutely fan fascinating um, and again something that I am very much looking forward to picking up when it comes out. 
So these are the five books that I'm particularly excited for or are my anticipated releases before the end of the year. I'm hoping that I get to um, pick up all of them. Um, I hope you like the recommendations as well or the and the anticipated excitement. Um, if you have any, if you have any, if you know of any, um, or I guess if you have any books <laughs> going out before the end of the year that you're excited about, please let me know down below in the comments. I'd be greatly appreciative to receive any recommendations. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you in the next video.